Okay, how does this translate to creating a an event calendar? It's you're gonna laugh because it's the exact same thing. I click events. I call it events, and it pulls up a new events page, right? Now I want to create a new event. I click the plus icon, just like the blog. That brings up this page right here. Okay, I want to call this um, event number one, and I'm going to add a cup, add a little bit of lorem ipsum to it, like I said before. And I'm going to, I'm going to add a button to link to tickets. Okay, so add the button. I'm going to say, I'm going to say tickets here. No exclamation mark, that's tacky. And then the, I, I'm going to use google.com because I can't think of anything else right now. Um, okay, let's, sorry, let's say ticketmaster.com. You would find your actual link of where the tickets are being sold if it's not on your personal website. Um, if it isn't on your site, what do you do? You make sure it's in a different tab. Click apply. Okay, cool. I have my basic event set up. Let's set the date. The date is going to be New Year's Eve tomorrow at 10 p.m. Maybe it's a concert. I'm playing a concert. I'm a band. And I'm going to add a category. And I'm going to call it concerts right because a band might have different events you might have like pr events you might have like a little gig you might have um, like a merchandise event you might have like a music video shoot whatever you want to broadcast on your calendar that's how you would do it um, so let's add a couple more categories um, music video shoot or maybe you're recording a new album right recording session it's just a concert, so we're going to highlight just concert, and we're going to add a couple tags. New Year's Eve, comma, creates the tag. Um, what else do we want to tag? Uh, 2017, 2018, fun, party, that kind of stuff, right? Let's create, let's make comments on, and let's... Let's publish it. Uh, let, or, yeah, let's publish it. I was going to say let's schedule it for tomorrow, but like you wouldn't see it. So let's publish it right now. Cool. Options. The exact same thing as the blog post. Add a thumbnail image. Add my bio picture. Excerpt. This is an excerpt. Super important. Right? Because you're on the page and you're seeing all these different dates. You want to have like a little excerpt below to show, okay, I see the title of this, but like I, I want to know a little bit more with, before I click it. Maybe there's a source URL, right? Ticketmaster.com for tickets. And there's definitely going to be a location, right? Where am I playing? I'm playing the Hollywood Bowl. I'm not pulling that up. It, it pulled it up on here, but not the address. I don't really know what the address is. Let's call it um, one, two, three, four, five. But Hill Boulevard. That's not the address for Hollywood Bowl, but we'll say it is for now. And again, social, right? I want to announce this show, but I don't want to have to go to every single social media account to do it. I can do it straight from here. I'm going to do that. Imagine those are on, right? I'll turn on for now. And I'm going to say like, hey, new show. Get yo tickets. Bam. And then percent you right because that makes the url that goes straight to that link nicarocarocks.squarespace.com slash blog post but it's going to actually pull it up as the name of the, the show event number one let's call it new year's eve concert cool all right we're going to click save and there it is doesn't look that good because I haven't styled it or set the ratio of the image. But it shows you have an image, you have the date right up here, you have the title, and it's showing right here, concerts, right? That's that category, the thing that people always skip over, which is so useful because I'm going to scroll down and I definitely want to, I want to see more concerts from this band. So I click that and it'll filter everything that's tagged as concerts or categorized as concerts. All right, I want to view the event. 
to view the event. Here's that lorem ipsum that I put in there and that tickets button. Click the tickets button, brings me to ticketmaster.com. Easy peasy. Um, then you can see like these tags. I've tagged it in New Year's Eve in 2017. So maybe I wanna see all the concerts in 2017, all the concerts in 2018, et cetera. Those are different than categories and tags. So that's events. Yeah, let's again, let's, it's so easy to duplicate this stuff now. Let me show you how to do that. Just click duplicate, duplicate, and it makes a copy of that New Year's Eve concert. So let's call it um, beach concert. That'd be cool. All right, I still have this whole thing set up with my tickets. It's a different link though, right? So I'm gonna change my link. Ticketmaster.com slash beach concert. Yeah, right. And then, oh, by the way, you can change the size of these buttons, right? And you can style them. So I can have a small button, a medium button, and a large button. And then I'm gonna, I can align it left, center, or right. Let's keep it there. You probably wanna change the thumbnail image. So let's change it to this one, right? Probably change this, right? Different show. Maybe it's a concert. So then look, it pulls over the tags and the categories as well. So you gotta make sure that you update these, right? So this is actually a concert and a music video shoot at the same time. That'd be really cool. And we're gonna publish it. Ready to go. Let's press save. Go back to the events. This is the events page. Right, so we have the New Year's Eve concert and the beach concert. Why didn't the image pull up? Because I clicked save before the whole thing loaded. Um, here, here's how, here's real quick how you wanna change it from a list view, right? It's a list uh, where I have, oh, it did pull up, cool. So I have, I have the first show here and then the second show here, but I wanna show it as a calendar. So I'm gonna show it like this. I'm gonna click the gear icon in the top left corner I'm gonna scroll down and instead of, on the default event view, instead of list, I'm gonna show calendar and watch what happens. It pulls up as an actual calendar, which is really cool, right? And then I see, oh, on December 31st, there's two different shows. There's, it's cause I didn't change the date. <laughs> um, there's beach concert at 10 PM and New Year's Eve concert at 10 PM. Let me change the date really quick on this so that it shows you I can show you what it looks like when it's just one event per date. Let's change this to uh, January 5th, 2018. All right, cool. So it's we're going to go back to all events. And okay, look at that. So my first event is January 31st. I hover over it and it shows me New Year's Eve concert. I click it and it goes to that show. Back to all events. Brings up the calendar. I can scroll through months just like this. I would only recommend doing this if you're really busy. If you're not, then it looks like I'm doing nothing the entire month of February. All right, so Friday, January 5th, I have another gig. I'm gonna click that and it brings up Beach Concert. Pretty cool, I click that and it's gonna bring up a broken link. Could not find Beach Concert, bummer. Cool, so um, that is how you create an event calendar and how you add new dates to it and how you duplicate it. Once that date passes, it's gonna save the event. So check this out. Let's, let's say that the beach concert was in the past. Let's say that that was uh, yesterday. The time of this recording is the 30th. Let's say it was the Friday the 29th. Watch this. Click save, refresh. And there we go. So I have upcoming events here, New Year's Eve concert tomorrow and past events, beach concert, which was yesterday. And so it's not gonna delete them, it's gonna save them here. And you can actually show your users your past events if you'd like. Um, some people choose to only show upcoming events, but if you wanna show some past gigs you've done and some past uh, events that you've been to, then you can do that like this. I think it'll automatically show it. Let's just check if I change this back to a list view. Uh, there we go. 
list save and there we go we got new year's eve concert and nothing else so i guess the the default is to not show it but i could show it if i'd like um so yeah so that's how you create event calendars and it's obviously the exact same thing as creating a blog